I have over 130 million streams on Spotify and I stopped releasing albums to focus on singles. But why? Why not just release all the songs at once and promote that album? Isn't an album a great way to build a fan base? Aren't albums considered for awards and critical reviews? Doesn't an album contribute to an artist's legacy showcasing a body of work? Yes, those are all true, but when it comes to building and growing a real fan base, you've been lied to. That's why in this video, I'm going to break down and focus on why you need to release singles. I've been teaching and preaching this on my Spotify challenge and in my book Spotify Profits why you need to release singles using the waterfall strategy. I'm not telling you to never release an album, but it's how you release it. Let's just say you have a 10 song album done ready to go. I would tell you to release all nine of those songs individually as singles. And then when it comes time to release the 10th one, I would bundle those all up together using the original ISRC codes. It's a little song code that each song gets. And I would upload that album all together so that and it would be just one bundle of an album. But that way you've got the ISRC codes so you're not losing any of the streams. But why go into all the trouble of releasing all these singles isn't that a lot of work the short answer is if you don't do it this way you're missing out on potentially millions of streams at least in the tens of thousands hundreds of thousands so let's jump into this here's reason number one if you were to upload all your songs as an album right away and then just release them on Spotify iTunes Apple music you can only pitch one out of those 10 songs or however many songs you have on your album you can only pitch one to Spotify's editorial team, okay, for the chance to get on an editorial playlist. And you can only pitch one that triggers the release radar for that song, discover weekly playlist, and daily mix. These are some of the biggest playlists, the algorithmic playlists, that could cost you millions of streams if you don't do it this way. And when you release all those songs at once, you can only choose one song. And this is the crazy part. Once all the songs are out there, you can't repitch them. That's it. It's gone. Once they've streamed on Spotify, you can't just now re-upload those as singles and try and repitch them. I'm sorry. It's happened to me too. The only way to get around that is if you were to do a remix of the song, maybe an acoustic version, or maybe you got a collaboration on the song, which we'll talk about later. But I did this strategy using the waterfall strategy that I talk about in Spotify Profits 2.0 is that on my album, I Run With Wolves, we released, I think it was 11 or 12 songs on this album and all of them were singles except for two. And I wanna show you this. So I'm in my Spotify here and I'm looking at my album, I Run With Wolves and I released all these songs as singles except for two. If you notice something here, it's only this song here that has 88,000 streams and this intro song, which isn't even a song, has 107,000. As you can see, the rest of them have either over a million or close to it, all right? About to break a million, this one's got 400,000. But as you can see, by not releasing this song as a single, I missed out on potentially four times, if not five or six times more streams. So you want to make sure that you're releasing the songs as singles leading up to the album. Now, just to clarify, when you're using Spotify's pitching tool, this is inside your artist.spotify.com dashboard where you do this. When you schedule your song for release, which you should give yourself at least three to four weeks, it will show up in up and coming right and that's where you go in and you pitch your song you write your little pitch to spotify's team sure you might get on an editorial playlist but most importantly you trigger that algorithm the release radar all right so as you can see i missed out on hundreds of thousands of streams which means it's going to take even longer for that song to recoup all right number two is you want to make sure that you're setting up a promotional campaign for each song. You know, for an album, most artists at least, the ones that work really hard to, to really want to get their music heard, they really treat the album as a big deal. Like they're releasing a whole album. This is like a birthday party for the album. Like you do everything to celebrate this album. 
Well, instead of releasing all the songs at once, we release them as singles and it's like each song gets its own mini birthday promotional party, right? To really talk about it, celebrate the song, do all the little promotional pieces. Um, sometimes we like to do our uh, individual artwork for each song. You don't have to, you can use the same artwork for the album and keep it similar or just a little difference, but you really want to promote each song. Pitch it to the Spotify editorial team, but you're posting on social media and you're really giving each song some attention, right? Not, not, none of them are the black sheep or the stepchild, right? You're loving on each song and giving it a chance because you don't know which one is really going to pop. You know, so many times I think it's going to be this song or that song. And then all of a sudden it's this one. It's like, dang, that was the one like we, we had no clue. And you probably don't know either, right? And so you really want to promote each song. Most artists, all right, even me sometimes, I get caught up on this because we just released a new song. You promote it hard for the first day. And then after 24 hours, you've moved on. You know you want to get back into the studio and just create more because you want to focus on creating, right? We're creators. Let me know if that's you. If you're like, ah, I just want to make, just make more music, right? But that gets really tiring and frustrating, even creating, when nobody is hearing your music. Like, let's just be honest. Like, like if people aren't hearing, like if I have a certain goal or a certain amount of streams or views or whatever it is, like I want to hit that. I want people to hear my music. Well, that's why you got to put your marketing hat on, right? And, and just learn this stuff. You know, I don't always want to do it either, but I want my, my music to be heard. And so again, by doing singles, this forces you to really promote each individual one and give it some attention that it deserves because you didn't write it for just to stay on your hard drive or nobody hear it. The third thing, and before we go into this, if you have not gotten my book, Spotify Profits, get it on Amazon or click the link below or take the Spotify five day challenge so you can deep dive into this stuff. Okay, number three, this is my favorite one, and this is getting features on your songs. There is nothing better or faster or better ROI um, on growing your Spotify monthly listeners, your streams, and your royalties than getting features. So if you have 100 monthly listeners, you should be reaching out to an artist with 1,000 or 10,000 monthly listeners. You shouldn't have to pay more than 100 bucks and some publishing for that. If you have a thousand monthly listeners, you should be reaching out to someone with ten thousand, fifty thousand dollars, or fifty thousand monthly listeners. Um, and if uh, and if you really want to stretch, go for go for a hundred thousand uh, monthly listeners, and just make sure the song is dope. You know, sometimes, you know, when you don't have the monthly listeners or the streams, but you've got a banging song, and an artist just wants to be a part of that, then that will open the door. But then you're probably going to be paying in the more few hundred dollars, five hundred, but you're still not even at the thousand dollar range. Like, I don't even think for a feature you need to be at the thousand dollar range until you're like hitting someone up with half a million monthly listeners or maybe three hundred thousand monthly listeners. Right. But even if you did pay a thousand for that, that's still really good ROI return on your investment. Why? Because when you get a featured artist on your song and it's a primary featured artist so that it shows up on their Spotify profile, not only are you now attached to their brand, but now you can pitch it to the Spotify editorial team and they can pitch it and both of your audiences get notified. But now you have now attached yourself to this artist's business. Now you're a part of their Spotify profile and anything they do. So if they have a song blow up at radio, they go on tour or they have a song that goes viral or something like that and people go search them out, they're going to also see your song for the rest of eternity, right? Like for the rest of your, for your life, you're going to get plugged into their business. Now, this is cool on like a few features, but imagine you got 10 features. 15 features, even 20 plus features. You've just really focused on this and now you're plugged into all these different other artists brands. Like just talking about this makes me like, I gotta, I gotta get some more features. You know what I'm saying? Because it has such an impact, but just make sure it's set up as a primary artist feature. I go into detail on this, on the, on the Spotify challenge, but like make a list, man. Like the song could be done already. Well, yank a verse. You know, and send it to, to the to, to the artist and say, hey, I'd love it if you sing a verse in here, rap a verse, pull your hook or pull part of your hook or have them just sing, sing the B part of the, the chorus or the bridge. Figure out a cool way to incorporate them. Sometimes we won't send an artist a song until it's like really, really done because we really want to showcase it shining like a diamond. I don't want to have them 
see like, oh wow, well, well maybe there's something dope there. No, we like to send them the song when it's like sounding like really good, okay? Because some, one time I sent a song to an artist and it wasn't fully finished and he hadn't seen it yet. And so he kind of turned it down. And what's crazy is that song ended up getting millions of streams. I think it's got almost 5 million streams now. And it was one of our bigger songs. And But he couldn't see it. And you know what? But sometimes I can't see it either on somebody else's song. I can see it on mine. But when, when someone sends you something, or when you send someone something, you want to make sure you're, it's like your resume. You want to put your best foot forward. I hope this has been helping so far. This is the last one, number four, which is consistency okay, is to keep releasing singles. You do it for an album, that's fine. Then you release the album, then do it again and release more singles. And the reason you wanna be consistent on this is because Spotify starts to see you releasing singles. And what we'll do sometimes as we're releasing the singles is after I've released maybe four or five, when I release that fifth one, I'll include all the previous four songs and make it an EP. We just did this for my uh, little EP song, No Stranger to the Pain. And I wanna show you my screen and show you something really awesome that happened here. Okay, so I'm in my Spotify artist dashboard and I literally just released this EP like last Friday, like a few days ago. And this was the new song, No Stranger to the Pain. I had already released Start Again, Help, this one, this one, and this one, all five of these other songs as singles. Then I bundled them together as an EP, and then I released this song. But, and this is the song that I pitched to the editorial playlist. But what's really interesting is that this song, Start Again, this is the one that ended up getting three editorial playlists just in the last two days and it completely shot up my streams. Like I was getting 1,500 a couple weeks ago, then we went down to about three, 400, and then we got those playlists, and then boom, 5,000 streams. So it breathed new life. And so if I hadn't have released this um, song with the, bundle, with the bundle of the other songs and pitched it, I might not have gotten the editorial playlist. Like maybe the editorial team just doesn't like that other song, No Stranger to the Pain, but start again is the hit, so they gave that song the chance. And so this is why you wanna be consistent. This is why you wanna use the Spotify waterfall release strategy that I talk about in Spotify Profits and just freaking keep promoting your song, keep releasing singles, because you just don't know which one is going to blow up, right? Like, as I look at my songs, um, let me just go into my Spotify profile. Like, out of these last six songs, I don't know which one is going to be the hit. Like right now, start again, that, that looks like that one's the one long term is going to blow up, maybe help. But, um, you know, uh, this song, Back of a Church Unstoppable, I'm noticing these songs are starting to take off. But this is why you want to market each single and give it a chance because you don't know which one is going to be the hit.